This isn't your birthday. Your birthday was two months ago. I wondered how long it would take you to remember that. Well, I'm no longer counting that as my birthday. Today is my birthday. My real birthday. Because today, at two o'clock, I started to live. Maybe I better go across the street and get the doctor. Maybe you should. Because when you hear what I have to say, you may need him. You see, at two o'clock this afternoon, I happen to be dusting in the back of the closet in the bedroom. When my dust rag caught on a board, the board came loose. And guess what I found? From six different banks. I don't add very well, but the answer keeps coming out something over $33,000. We can't touch any of that. That's for our old age. My old age began the day after I married you. When I think of how we've been living all these years, like, like poverty-stricken pack rats. Well, that's all over now. From now on, we're going to eat like other people and, and live like other people. No, no, Jennifer. We can't spend any of that. We... I absolutely forbid you. Forbid? Cheap, miserly, penny-pinching, money-grabbing. Well, I'm through. Alexander Gifford, I'm getting a divorce. A divorce? And I'll get it. Alienation of affection, that's what it is. I'm naming money as correspondent. Divorce? Oh, no. That would be a terrible thing. I didn't want to part with Jennifer. Not in this community property state. Divorce could be more costly than marriage. After all these years, I can't live the way I want to live. I'd rather not live at all. It was her idea. In fact, it was the only sensible solution. Oh, but how does one do this sort of thing? Where? When? Certainly not now. I had to play for time. Yes? Your name Giffer? Alexander Giffer? Yes. I understand you're looking for somebody to make a hit. I beg your pardon? Monk sent me. Monk, county jail. Said you want somebody rubbed out. Shh. Oh, I get you. I'll meet you downstairs in a few minutes. Now, Mr. Gifford, we're experienced in this sort of thing. We know our business. There's nothing to it. It's all nice and clean. Well, I believe in your publicity. Uh, I was wondering if you could tell me how much it will cost. I can tell you that exact. According to the rise of the jiffy jazz with the frigid jazz, it's in the end. Now, back to cost. We got a standing rate for this sort of thing. The whole bit, including getting rid of the corpse delecti, only five bills. Five bills? In advance, of course. An eminently fair price. I accept your proposition. You know, I'm interested to know how you can perform such services so reasonably. We depend on the volume business. Here we are. One, two, three, four, five. What's that? The five dollars. What five dollars? Your fee. I said five bills. Well? A bill is a C-note, a yard, a hundred. A hundred? You mean you're asking five hundred dollars? Mr. Gifford, you all right? Uh, let's see. It's OK, Mr. Gifford, I understand. Look, I saw this one on TV. A dame did it. Real cute dame. She clobbered her old man over the head with a frozen leg of lamb. At 59 cents a pound? I don't think she stopped to figure. Hey, look. This is for you. You like to tinker with mechanical things around the house. Well, see this diagram? Now the fuse is attached right here under the floorboard. She gets in the car, turns on the ignition, steps on the starter. Kaboom. The angels sing. Yeah. Oh, but wouldn't that damage the car? Oh, yeah. Look, I'm trying to help you, but you're making it awful rough. 
Well, I, I don't mean to be difficult, but couldn't we accomplish this without too much violence? Well, there's always poison. It's not my specialty. I don't knock it. Poison? Yeah, a few drops of something in a glass of water. She'll never know what hit her. Yeah. Oh, but don't you have to sign something when you buy poison? Not when you get it from my friend Arthur. Arthur. Boy, you sure know the right kind of people. Arthur. You weren't hungry, Alex. I feel like a pig eating all that ham by myself. I thought it hadn't worked. Jennifer's dead. No, she's not. She's not? She's very ill, but we mustn't give up hope. No, 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 of course not. Tell me, what did you have for dinner last night? Well, um, we had soup. Uh, barley soup, of course. Uh, lettuce and tomato salad. No dressing. Uh, hamburgers. No, no, I, I had the hamburger. Jennifer insisted on eating the leftover ham. Leftover ham? And then for dessert... Never mind to... that. That's it. I'm going to take what's left of that ham and have it analyzed. I'm certain she's suffering from botulism. Botulism? Yes. It's a rare type of food poisoning. By the way, have you got a paper bag? Oh, yes, of course. If only you called me last night. Or even this morning. But now... There's no hope? Only one. One? She has an amazing constitution. If she can last through the night, she might just pull through. She might. But don't get your hopes up, Alex. She has very little chance. Let me know if there's any change. Yes, of course, Doctor. sad. I was almost sorry that poor Jennifer had to leave. It was a frightening sound to hear. She was actually beginning to snore. A loud, full, disgustingly healthy snore. If she can last through the night. she wouldn't make it through the night. Cause of death, botulism. Now, what time did you say she stopped breathing? Stopped breathing? Oh, uh, it was about 10.30. 10.30. I know this is difficult for you, Alex, 
But you'll have to give this death certificate to the undertaker. The undertaker? Well, naturally, you didn't expect to leave her in there, did you? Oh, no, of course not. I just never thought about the funeral. I know, it's a sudden shock. Yes, it is. I mean, funerals are expensive. I'm afraid it will cost you at least $125. That much? Plus $35 more for even the cheapest plot. Oh. Please accept my sympathy, Alex. A hundred and sixty dollars. Jennifer was dead and she was still spending my money. But I wasn't gonna take it lying down. No, sir. A hundred and sixty dollars. I should say not. Oh, what could I do? Where could I turn? Fifty-five, sixty-five, seventy, It was inspirational the way I got around the funeral. The medical school had actually paid me for poor Jennifer. Seventy-five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> 